who is a member of Just Stop Oil, Fiona Atkinson, joins me right now. Good afternoon to you, Fiona. Hello, Julia. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, what was the point of ruining people's evening at the theatre last night? 200 quid a ticket people, some people had paid. What was the point of that? Well, I thought you might ask that, but I also wanted to just say I only came on today to see if you're still lying to your audience. And oh, yeah, yes. you still are denying truth, denying what actually was in your own news broadcast. Do you watch your own news? I do watch my own broadcast, yeah. but I, I, I don't actually have to agree with everything else that's no, broadcast because, it's because I think we should be allowed to have our own yeah. views based on uh, the facts. So with the facts, so let's deal with the facts. Your could, you news, answer, could you just first answer news, the no, question I asked you, and then you can no. come on. We've got plenty of time. Answer the yeah, question I'm, I've I'm, asked you. I'm, I'm glad we've got time, but just let me finish what I was no, saying No, I'd like you to news. answer the question I asked you, and then I you will. can talk about that. I will, Julia, but I just want to draw your audience's attention to the fact that you are denying your own news. I'm it's denying my own news? Yep. What do you, you want covered, me to do, faint? You covered... Well, you might What am I denying? It is actually quite shocking that a oh. presenter on a TV channel mm. decides to ignore what was on their news. The wildfires in Tenerife, they're not true then. So what do you mean not the true? Hottest, there are wildfires in the Tenerife. The hottest year. Yeah, OK. And these are happening all over the world, aren't they? Yeah. All the time. And your viewers They've been happening, are watching that. They're happening for millennia. And they're listening to you, and they're listening to you misinform them. What did them I misinform them about? happening. You're saying that there aren't crop failures. You've got I didn't farmers. say there weren't crop failures. I didn't, I didn't say that. I, I, you, you, you gave a big reassuring spiel at yeah. the beginning, which was just full Has of Has food lies. production in recent years gone up or down in the world? Food production is being challenged no, 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 by that, this get, weather. Sorry, India, Fiona, are you going to answer any of the questions you, I've actually yeah. asked you? Yeah. Are you just going to answer something else? Yeah. Yeah. You're saying I'm, that we've got a problem with possible with starvation. Lies, if we've got a problem, problem because of crop course. failures and everything's going to go horribly wrong, we're all going to be starving to death well, because of climate. Let me finish the question. <laughs> Even if you're not going to answer it, let me finish it. Well, Fiona, yeah, I'm quite happy to I'm asked answer you, question, I asked you a really simple a question. Have crop failures... Has, has the amount of food produced in the world gone up or gone down in the last, say, 10 or 20 years? Up or the down? Amount, the amount up or of down. food that we... The amount it's gone up. Of food it's gone up we are, hugely. The amount of food that we are able to produce it's on a up. planet that is covered by floods and wildfires... It's not covered by floods and all wildfires. Our weathers, well, I don't know what you've been watching, but... There have always been floods, there have always that. been wildfires, not and there like always these, will Julia. be. For a, for a presenter, you are horribly out of touch. I'd be ashamed if I was talking that crap and I was. Oh, please don't use that language on air. Please, show. apologies to people listening well, at home. Could, could, you, could you stop stirring me up to do that? You've got oh, a I'm sorry, so I'm responsible saying, for you using the, bad language the, and the for the end of the planet. That's a you, lot you, of responsibility well, for one afternoon. You are responsible for misinforming your audience and you are responsible for pretending that. Has food production what, across the world gone up or down? What, just what Just Stop Oil is saying... Has it gone clearly, up or down? It's gone up. It, food Have, production Are there more people starving in the world or, the, or less world. people starving in the world now? And Less. Fewer. Course, there are fewer people starving. There are not fewer people starving. We've got yes, crop are. failure the all stats. over the world. I'm so here. sorry. I don't know where the you go for your stats are so, there, there, are, there are official bodies who compile these things. The amount of poverty, the amount of people who are living in with hunger has absolutely plummeted. The percentage of people who, who die as a result of climate catastrophes or any natural disasters has gone down by 99% in the last 100 we years. We are facing crop failure all over the world. And here's and an yet example. food production's India, gone up. India is not going to export the usual amount of rice. We've got breadbasket failure all over the world. We've got farmers in Spain who are giving up on farming because the weather has become so unpredictable. We have a climate catastrophe so bad that the Pope is backing out. The Pope is backing you. Yeah. Yeah, the Pope, he is the Pope saying has we have read out. to get on with this. Not only the Pope, though, every single scientist, every single climate scientist that oh. actually understands the facts is saying we are facing a climate breakdown okay. yeah, so that's, bad that, is that Fiona, millions will Fiona, start. Fiona, that's factually untrue. Every single scientist and every single climate scientist well, there's, there's categorically the are not saying that. There are Julia, many saying quite the difference. There's only the one Can you come back to my you, first question? You look up. Yeah, I know happily. you're not big on answering questions, Fiona. No, I'll, I'll happily answer question. that question. You had, you had to, first question, because it's not very nice people to listen if we're just going to talk over each other. Mm. First question, what was the point of the protest last night? The point of the protest last night 
was for us to get across to everybody the importance of rising up and what a great play to get that message across because it's going to take as the pope has said ordinary people rising up and saying enough we need to make sure that our children are safe and right now they're not safe i don't know if you saw what, what Julia, would you mean they're you not see... safe well did you see any good god i'm beginning to wonder where you live did you watch any television this summer did you see the guy in his i, I, I drove Paris? i drove down a motorway did... in sicily that was on fire did... on both sides yes, well I, there I, you yes. go there you go yeah. an everyday event in in in, in your life actually, julia well, and yet, actually wildfires are pretty your common dedication sicily, your dedication was... to denial is so impressive because i I You've find your dedication to it. not answer the question a bit. You know, I you said, quite, just you said, the question. You said ordinary people are rising it. up, and I would agree with you. They are ordinary rising people up, but need they're to rising rise up, up against, against eco uh, uh, protesters that, that's, that's for disrupting rubbish. their lives, and they're rising up. And we've had a that's we've had a rubbish. bump in the polls for Rishi Sunak when he said we're going to push. But I mean, I, I think he should abandon the net zero targets. But he said we're going to push them back. Sixty percent of people think we're not doing enough about the climate crisis. If this was a proper democracy, he wouldn't be reining back on what would net be a proper zero. Democracy? He'd be moving forward on it. This democracy would recognise the fact that everybody across this country now accepts, except you, Julia, by the sound I'm of it. I'm just the only one. You do have a climate crisis and that do we they? do have to move faster I don't think the it. polling says that. If we had a proper democracy, we'd stop paying 236 million in subsidies to the fossil fuel industry mm -hmm. every week. To keep That's the lights on and the engines money. running and... We would, we would be investing how would, how in would the we renewables function without fossil that would be fuels? saving. Can, hang on. If we invested properly that £236 million, if we were subsidising renewables, billion. insulation, and getting on with making sure that our houses are fit for the 21st century, that, yep. we were investing that money. Your audience would be saving money. That, oh, look, that, would, that, would, that would be great. OK, but how would we yeah. function without fossil fuels? And when do you think well, rough what year roughly got, do you think we can about, stop using fossil fuels? We've got about seven or eight years to gradually give up on fossil fuels. All fossil and fuels. To move to move yeah, to, to we okay, need to so just clarify, them up and then how we are we going to, to make well, concrete still, and steel we, we still, and move get cars made, we, have cars we, function, we will, trains, aeroplanes, factories built? How are we gonna do all of that? How are we gonna heat We have all about our seven or eight years to move away from it. Seven and or eight years. Start investing in what will get us out of this crisis. But Julia, there's no No, 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 no Fiona, no, stop, this. stop. Don't move on. Don't move on, Fiona. You said within seven or eight years, so basically by the end of this decade, you think we yeah. can move away, com start moving away or completely stop all we, use of fossil fuels? We use what we've got. We've got about seven got or left. eight years worth of oil and gas. We don't need any more. So what in we need 2030, to invest in renewables. Right. We need to get on with insulating our houses. Okay, yeah, you said that, you said that. Yeah. But in 2030, you think that our, our country can function, we'll keep the lights on, heating on, making food, running factories, being able, people being able to travel. You think that, that we're going to be able to do all of that on, rely, on, on what, renewables? Or how about, are we allowed to have nuclear power? There will be some need for there, gas and oil, will, even in that oh, time. So we are there will have, be what, some, what's need, some need, but we don't need any new oil and gas. Okay, what is some need? need? Julia, you need to listen to this bit. It's a death sentence. Okay. Have you got anybody you love in your life? I don't I know. Love I, I, my hate, granddaughter. I hate everybody and I hate oh, my well, children or my like grandchildren it. in the future it's, and I it, want the world it, to die. I think that's the... Is, that, is that what you like want me to you, say? I'll tell you what, it sounds like you hate life because oh. if you actually loved life, you would want to protect it. You'd it's stop because I love life and I love life. freedom and I love living <laughs> in a wealthy Western country where we have all these amazing more comms that improved down the pan. our lives. And I want everyone in the developing world to have exactly what we've got. I want them you to be so getting as many touch, fossil fuels Julia. as they can and living the fantastic so rich life we have and everyone going on a holiday where You're they want so and driving a car time. where they want. I'd love it. You sound like something from another area. Age. It's about time you got with it. I think it's, it's about what most time people you understood want. reality. Your own news. Just just watch your well, own said news that. now and then. Let's not go over that. Okay. Do you think that you are taking the country with you when you do protests? When you sort of you know you stop a play at the West End, a football match, the snooker, uh, people on I their cars. People, do you think you're really making it the right? I think people increasingly understand that young people want some kind of future and they're terrified and they won't have a future they, otherwise they need 
everybody listening to this program. They need my friends, my family, your friends, your family to get into resistance against a government. Resistance? What do you want people to do? failing to protect us. I'd like you to go to juststopoil.org and sign up oh, and do. come on a slow march with us, Julia, because then that would show you've actually understood what's going on in the world that you present daily on this program. <laughs> Do, do, at what point do you think your audience are going to turn around and say, why did you misinform us, Julia? Is it going to be the bit where the waves are going over their houses, where they can the no longer insure go over their houses? houses? Okay. Well, we're facing... Do you realise that most of the things you mouth. say have no backing in any fact or reality or totally scientific Totally backed by science everywhere, by the Pope, Roughly by Chris... Roughly where, by the, where the by Pope the backs Nations, it. I mean, he's a well-known climate government scientist, along with Greta. Advisors, by scientists everywhere. Well, just out of interest. You are I've, look, I've, out look of touch. I've had my I've had my basement basement ground floor flat flooded before. So can you give me some warning? When exactly are the waves going to flood over my house? Just so well, I know. I can write flash it down. floods could happen in London at any time. Flash floods. Yeah. Um, they've had, well, and waves 20, going over the top of houses. Twenty thousand. Do you think the twenty thousand people who were washed into the sea in Libya ever thought that was going to happen to them, Julia? Do you think that? Do you think they realised that was coming forward? You know for that was them? because, because dams collapsed because of failure and of infrastructure why, maintenance. A failure of infrustructure, yes. yeah. And a well, I don't know, that's bit, what the people in Libya are saying. Maybe they know what they're talking bit, about. Just a little bit to do with six okay. months of rain coming down in 24 hours. Six months of rain in 24 hours, Julia. Yeah. That, and and that could collapsing. happen here at any time. Right, well, well watch out, everybody. Hold your, part, hold your loved ones close. I would go we'll and have to try and get your basement insured, Julia, now. It is, would, it is insured, but, but, if, no, but if the waves are going over the top the of the house, there's no point, is there? Tell yeah. your audience the truth so yeah. they're not confused yeah, no, I've got to end. on the news and then listen I've got to, to end, you. But I don't, want to, I don't want to cut you off, but I've got to end because we've got to go to another guest. Um, Fiona Lovely. Axon, it's been yeah. a joy. Keep going with the truth, Julia. Try that for a change. It's been a joy. I just wear the right colour. everyone. Absolutely. Go to Just Stop Oil, everybody. Just a thank you so much, Fiona thank Atkinson. You. Um, thank Bye. you. We could thank you so much. It's been a joy.